Coming up on 5-Minute News. Hunter Biden indicted on firearm purchase charges after plea deal collapses. Trump's last-minute legal challenge changes timing of fraud trial. And planet Earth is outside safe operating space for humanity. It's Friday, September 15. I'm Anthony Davis. The president's son, Hunter Biden, was indicted yesterday on federal firearms charges, the latest step in a long-running investigation that puts the case on track towards a possible high-stakes trial as the 2024 election looms. Hunter Biden is accused of lying about his drug use when he bought a firearm in October 2018, a period when he has acknowledged struggling with addiction to crack cocaine, according to the indictment filed in federal court in Delaware by a special counsel overseeing the case. The indictment comes weeks after the collapse of a plea deal that would have averted a criminal trial and distracting headlines for President Joe Biden. The court fight does not seem likely to end soon. Hunter Biden's defense attorney argues he didn't violate the law and remains protected by an immunity provision that was part of the plea deal. The charges, meanwhile, are rarely filed as standalone counts, and a federal appeals court recently found the measure he was charged under unconstitutional. He's also been under investigation for his business dealings, and the special counsel has indicted that tax charges could be filed at some point in Washington or in California where he lives. The legal arguing comes as a political fight also plays out. The House has formally opened an impeachment inquiry into the Democratic president, seeking to tie the elder Biden to his son's businesses and divert attention away from the disgraced former President Trump's own legal woes. Trump's include several indictments over the handling of classified documents and efforts to overturn his 2020 election loss to Joe Biden. Charges related to gun possession by drug users are rare, especially when not in connection with other crimes. Of all the people sentenced for illegal gun possession in 2021, about 5% were charged due to drug use, according to US Sentencing Commission data. A last-minute legal challenge by Donald Trump's lawyers could disrupt a trial scheduled for next month in the New York Attorney General's business fraud lawsuit against the disgraced former president and his company. A state appeals court judge on Thursday ordered a potential postponement of the non-jury trial scheduled to start on October 2nd after Trump's lawyers filed a lawsuit according to the trial judge, Arthur N. Gorin, of repeatedly abusing his authority. Justice David Friedman, a judge on the state's intermediate appellate court, granted an interim stay of the trial and ordered the full appeals court to consider the lawsuit on an expedited basis. The court indicated it would issue a decision the week of September 25th, meaning the trial could still start on schedule depending on how it rules. Among the issues raised by Trump's lawyers were Ngoran's terse refusal to grant their recent request for a three-week trial delay, which he ruled as completely without merit and lingering uncertainty about the trial's scope because he's yet to comply with a June appeals court order that he determine which claims in the fraud lawsuit are barred by the statute of limitations. Other proceedings in Attorney General Letitia James's lawsuit against Donald Trump and the Trump Organization will proceed as scheduled. They include oral arguments slated for September 22nd on requests from James's office and Trump's lawyers that Ngoran decide on some or all of the case before the trial starts. James's lawsuit alleges Trump defrauded banks, insurers and others with annual financial statements that inflated the value of his skyscrapers, golf courses and other assets and boosted his net worth by as much as $3.6 billion. Her lawsuit seeks $250 million in penalties and a ban on Trump doing business in New York. Planet Earth is exceeding its safe operating space for humanity in six of nine key measurements of its health. 
and two of the remaining three are headed in the wrong direction, a new study said. Earth's climate, biodiversity, land, fresh water, nutrient pollution and novel chemicals, human-made compounds like microplastics and nuclear waste, are all out of whack, a group of international scientists said in Wednesday's Journal of Science Advances. Only the acidity of the oceans, the health of the air and the ozone layer are within the boundaries considered safe, and both ocean and air pollution are heading in the wrong direction. We are in very bad shape, said study co-author Johann Rockström, director of the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Germany. We show in this analysis that the planet is losing resilience and the patient is sick. These boundaries determine the fate of the planet, said Rockström, a climate scientist. The nine factors have been scientifically well established by numerous outside studies, he said. If Earth cannot manage these nine factors, Earth could be relatively safe, but it's not. In most of the cases, the team used other peer-reviewed science to create measurable thresholds for a safety boundary. For example, they used 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the air, instead of the Paris Climate Agreement's 1.5 degrees of warming since pre-industrial times. This year, carbon in the air peaked at 424 parts per million. The simulation showed that one of the most powerful means that humanity has at its disposal to combat climate change is cleaning up its land and saving forests, the study said. Returning forests to late 20th century levels would provide substantial natural sinks to store carbon dioxide instead of the air, where it traps heat, the study said. Biodiversity, the amount of different types of species of life, is in some of the most troubling shape and it doesn't get as much attention as other issues like climate change, Rockstrom said. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.